All right, everyone, here we go with the Friday reading. I love the Friday reading. It's uh, one card for each sign, no clarifiers, nothing at all. Just asking what's your, under the, we take a snapshot of the current energy, asking what your person's thinking and feeling right now. About you, of course. Uh, but pay attention to everything on the table. You're all part of a cycle. There's a note at the top of the description to explain why there's no timestamps for any new people. The rest of you know the drill. All right? So just pay attention to what's on the table. I'll have the universe added up at the end. I have not done a pre-shuffle. We're going to use the classic, original, broken, now retired, semi-retired, Steve's Love Tarot original animal deck for this. Get some energy in here. A lot of energy in this deck. Let me tell you, randomly at the bottom is the emperor. That's why I happen to see that. So here we go. Let's give it a shuffle. Let's do ourselves a Friday reading. It's a general reading. May or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. All right, here we go. Ah, an exploded all signs reading on the table. A 12-card reading. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see where we go here. Our story begins... Ooh, that was a quick shuffle. I like that. Our story begins with Aries and ends with Pisces. Pay attention to everything. The overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table is Ten Pentacles. So... Uh, they're probably thinking, well, they're either thinking about their Ten Pentacles or you. I don't know what's underneath the Seven of Cups. Round and round we go. Is my, it backs up what I said, again, in the Mercury Direct reading. You know, it's, about, it's an energy right now that we're in, Mercury Direct and Capricorn in particular, just singling that out, of wanting to do things right, wanting to fix things. Somebody here is, is flip-flopping back and forth, Okay. Uh, is, the, is my soulmate the, the Ten of Pentacles or, you know, the, the life, the future, or does my... They're really looking at their own life. That's why I kind of stopped myself there for a moment and seeing if, if there's a future there. Looking at like, well, yeah, but you know, it's like that kind of energy. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Start with Aries and with Pisces. For me, it's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, but you guys, you like those signs, so here we go. Aries... Lovers. Our reading opens with a flock of fucking geese in the air. Yeah, well, no, it doesn't surprise me with that, this, this energy I talked about, the overall energy. Um, it, the energy is there for you two to come together. The energy is, it, it's there. The, it, it's set, the table is set. We're waiting for your person to show up with the food. The ta I mean, you're sitting at the table with a napkin on, waiting for him. It's right there. There's energy coming towards you, which is causing them to also sort of rethink some things. Um, we'll find out more as we go through the reading. But I do want to point out here, this is someone who's tried to escape this connection but can't. It's a very powerful connection. It's very hard for them to not think about you at least a billion times on a daily basis. All right, let's, let's see where we go here. Taurus, the second position. Uh, King of Cups. Um, Someone's not telling you how they feel. How they feel about you. What they're thinking and feeling right now is a lot of love. But someone here, because of maybe some ego, as we talk about often, Taurus, or pride, is holding on to how they feel. Holding it back. But they have a lot of feelings and the energy is pushing them to express that. They might even be acting like they don't care. Mm. Okay. I get that. Uh, Gemini. Page of Swords. I, I, the spying energy is going to pick up like a son of a bitch. Especially around the new moon. In the next couple of days, I'm going to be pulling the new moon reading. All right? uh, I might even pull it today. I might even pull it you know, after I finish this reading. I'm not sure. Um, I have to check on the energy. If I do, it'll be up later today. Here on Friday. But Someone here is disappointed in themselves. You know, they really, again, there's, if we just look at the three card here, there's a lot of love here. Okay, and somebody here is not, is very, there's just a disappointment in themselves. What they're thinking and feeling about you is they're disappointed that they're not with you. Yet the energy is there for them to be. Yet they're holding on to that. Yet they're holding on to what they have. But yet they can't find you anywhere else. See what I'm saying? It's, it's strange. It's strange logic. Which is why I'm counting on this new moon paired with all the other energies around it like Mercury Direct now and all of that to try to kind of move things along here. Cancer, the hot spot of the connection cycle. You're all honorary Cancerians in this cycle. It bookends the lovers. 
so it can't be bad. I was about to say it can't be. It's the sun. It, it almost had to be Major Arcana, by the way. Otherwise, this might have been an, uh, a reading I needed to scrap or it would have gotten confused, you know. Uh, it is. It's, it's the sun, okay? Somebody who knows exactly what they want to do, and I believe in this moment, okay, they would love, somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody has something they want to tell you, um, and there's a strong chance for communication. We'll see what happens tomorrow in the weekly reading when I ask what actions they're likely to take in the coming week. Okay? We'll see. Um, but they know exactly what they want to do. The sun illuminates. They get it. Especially when it's feedbacking off this lover's energy. It's very powerful. Leo. Leo soap opera. I know the last episode. My God. Let's see where we're at now. Is somebody still eating a shit burger? Mm, and saying it tastes good, nine of wands. Somebody's still eating a shit burger and saying it tastes good. What they think and feel about you is exactly what I, I think I may have told you this in your last soap opera update. And no, we didn't use this deck. This is the old animal deck. It's given us this answer. They feel safe behind this wall. They feel perfectly safe behind this wall watching you. Spying energy is feedbacking off of this. It's feedback. They know what they want to do. Uh-huh. But they feel perfectly safe watching you from behind the wall. The safety of the wall. But this wall is shitty. Okay? It's shitty. You can see right through it. And that's what scares the hell out of them. That you can see right through their bullshit. Nobody else can. They smile and tell everyone how happy they are. Usually they get away with it. But with you, they got to be honest. So they feel safe hiding behind the wall. Telling themselves that you don't know they're there. But you do. We'll see what happens tomorrow in the weekly reading. We'll see what forward movement we got coming. We'll see in the new moon reading, which might go up today for all I fucking know. I have no idea yet. My coffee's not even done kicking in. Uh, Virgo. Magician. Um, there is a, this is a strange read on this, but someone here is asking about you. Okay? Someone's asking about you. Behind a veil of smoke and mirrors, Someone is asking. So if if you may, this may actually play out for you. You may actually have someone tell you, "Oh, so and I ran into so and so." Okay, whether that person, if if someone tells you, "I ran into so and so," whether that person tells you that that person asked about you or not doesn't matter. They did. Okay, they there's some kind of conversation about you that happened there. It's likely that a third party is going to convey this. Okay. It's a very strange read, but that's what I get off of it. All right, as far as what someone's thinking and feeling about you. Someone's curious about you. They want to know about you, but they don't want you to know that they know, that they want to know. You see what I'm saying? It's like that. It's a little smoke and mirrors. Okay. All right. All right. They feel safe behind a wall. It's the same kind of energy these two are feedbacking. Okay. With a little bit of spying energy thrown in. It's like a recipe, right? <laughs> All right, Libra. It's weird. I hate, I'm, even I'm admitting it. I'll, I'll, even be, I'll give you some transparency. I am drawn to one thing on these cards. These cards reflect energy. Okay, that's all they are, mediums for reflecting energy. I'm drawn to one, so me as an energy reader, I get boop, like a hawk on a fucking rabbit. I get drawn to one little thing. That's it. See the little black hole right there? That's all I'm drawn to. That's it. So that, that's where that read comes from. It's very strange. It's not even about the cards. It's just that right there. What's coming out of it? Anyway, Libra, I just thought I'd show you. I like transparency in my readings. Maybe, you know, you learn how to read cards. You know, maybe you try that and you see what, what your intuition tells you if you read cards. Uh, Page of Cups. Libra, Libra, Libra. Somebody here. It's a sweet energy. Somebody here wants to, I don't know why I'm saying this, they want to apologize to you. That's it. I don't even know if it's your runner. I'm po it's soulmate. It's someone you're connected to, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the runner. So a, a lot of you, again, because you're all connected here, a lot of you have energies you're connected to that want to apologize to you. Okay, if that resonates with you, it's for you. Doesn't matter whether you're a Libra or not. But in the Libra position, I believe it's their runner. I believe they want to apologize for something, and that's their in. That's their way to come in. Okay, a lot of feelings here. A lot of love. Not not really much expressed, but a lot of love. Uh, hot Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. Fear. Mm. There's a runner attached to you that is literally pissing themselves. Probably because of what I told you in a recent reading about a very powerful soulmate coming your way. 
Okay? This is the kind somebody's holding back. It's a how do I phrase it? It's a bit like somebody's afraid to talk to you because somebody else is talking to you at a party, and that person at a party that's talking to you is like higher up the food, the social food chain than they are. So they, they they're coming in to approach you and then they turn like that. So the energy that's coming towards you of a new soulmate is now scaring an already scared runner that's a, a, that's also attached to you. They're picking up on the energy anyway. Don't take it literally what I'm saying, but they are picking up on the energy of an incoming and it is causing them to hold back quite a bit. You know, there's a lot I know there's a lot of feelings there for sure. Certainly don't want to lose you. Uh, Sagittarius, what do we get? Devil, devil, devil. The goat with its feet on fire. Ah, there's so much karma. So much karma there. I know the kids love that word. Um, someone's obsessed with you. Okay? I don't know who it is. It's just it's just obsession. It's just, it's just, I don't even have words. Okay? It's just feedbacking off of the lover's card and this magician. There's so much karma here. I have no idea. Somebody's got themselves all worked up. There's a little bit of fear. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I could clarify it. We'll see what happens tomorrow when we pull the weekly reading and we see some forward, whether we see forward movement or not, when I ask what actions they're likely to take. This is likely, I would pay, if I were you, Sagittarius, close attention to my Mercury Direct reading. Okay? It's that same kind of energy. It's like the whole Mercury Direct reading, right, which we didn't use this deck for, is in this card right here, and I just threw it. Okay? And that's the best I can tell you. Uh, but somebody's really, um, there's a, you have a lot of karma with somebody, but it's heavy on their end, not on yours. So in other words, it's shit that it's, it's their problem, not yours. Okay? Uh, Capricorn, three of wands. There's a whole new beginning for you very soon. Somebody here is, is again, the spying energy is huge. Somebody here is, this is usually someone looking out at ships on the water. Somebody's keeping an eye on you. Somebody, you have a conversation coming with somebody that should have already happened, to be honest with you. The energy off this card says it should have already happened. There's a little apprehension because they're worried about sharing how they feel. Okay, fine. But it should have already happened. Uh, if it hasn't already happened, it's going to happen very soon. All right? You're all they're thinking about. Okay. Aquarius. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. I don't even have anything attached to you. This is your energy. It's it's the Ace of Pentacles. That's what you are. That's what's around you right now. It's not surprising. I'm about to either today or tomorrow or so pull on the Aquarius New Moon, the Chinese New Year, the Year of the Rabbit. Very auspicious energy. It's your fucking New Moon. Uh, so yeah, here it is. A nice looking moon, a dark moon, right there, made out of wood. I made it for you. Get get ready. It's going to be a hell of a year for you. As long as you roll with the changes, you'll be just fine. Wow. And that applies to all of you. It's been coming up for a lot of you in the readings when I pull the three card and stuff like that. Please pay attention to those. Pay attention to what I say in the singles reads because there's new soulmates coming in. Well, singles reads are very important this year because there's actually soulmates that are approaching that are beyond this runner. Pisces. A story began with the lovers. Pisces is always connected to position number five here with this nine of wands. Don't have to know a Leo. It doesn't matter. This isn't astrology. It's energy reading. What's going on with uh, Pisces? Look at that. Knight of Swords. Yeah, that wall is coming down. This is Mr. Gorbachev. Tear that wall down. Right? I think either a soulmate's coming towards you or Ronald Reagan in that case. I have no idea. But anyway, somebody is coming. It's it's coming. Energies are coming at you fast. You're about to find something out. It's it's bookending the sun here. You're about to find something out. Something uh, again. All I can say is what someone is thinking and feeling about you, and this applies to all of you. Definitely in the Pisces position, uh, they can't stop thinking about you. Your book ending the devil card here. It's that obsession energy. It's what I said in the Mercury Direct reading. Pay attention to it. All right. Um, Look at my corners in this reading, okay? Uh, someone wants to talk to you. They've got something they want to say. The corners of the reading are important. I've got major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, and then this corner here would be the potential final outcome. Communication, okay? The love geese are in the air. Everybody knows what they want to do. 
and there's an obsession here there's a there's a change in the energy there's there's this merc again i tie to the mercury direct in capricorn reading that energy of uh again wanting to make things right and not able to bullshit themselves when they do they feel three of swords type pain kind of a thing it comes in and it haunts them if you will leading to a lot of everybody's person thinking and feeling I got something I want to say. I want to just get something off my chest. I want to do something. Right? Okay. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. But they are flip-flopping around with the Seven of Cups crossing the Ten of Pentacles on whether or not or whether. They're all wishy-washy. All the runners. And their problem right now, and the reason there's this frantic energy to come in, is you all have, and my readings have backed this up. My recent readings, even when I pull on you in the extendeds, it backs it up. That there's an other energies approaching you. It's that old logic I think they're starting to realize that if they feel this way for you, somebody else will too. And they don't want that because that hurts their ego. It's, it's a whole catch-22 with their ego. It really is. You know, the, the, you hurt their ego so they'd rather not think about it. But at the same time, if someone else is interested in you and they can't have you, that hurts their ego. So it's, a, it's this swirling mass represented beautifully by the seven of cups crossing the ten of pentacles you know uh, are they are they not well i don't want that but i want that but the spying energy is going to get huge here toward the end of january uh i'd say from the new moon on okay if you haven't if you're you haven't, you haven't your person hasn't popped in in a while either in your dreams or in your energy or you know, on your social media expect to see some pop-ins It's very strong here for sure all right Let's pull three cards. Let's see what the universe, let's have the universe add all this up. Like I always do at the end of the Friday reading. Let's see. I think I've already done it for you. That's why I almost ended the reading. But let's just see. Maybe there's something else the universe wants to say. Um, let's go. I think that's how the universe adds it up. I think it takes the four corners. I, I always, it always seems to come out that way with the cards. That's probably the easiest way to do it. It's the way I just did it. Let's go. Three cards and a bottom card, universe. Add all this up. Okay. See what the, the witches have to say. It's, it's everything I already told you. Uh, more proof that I read the energy first than that I throw the cards. Here it is. It's the over affecting energy crossing the center cards. Two of Pentacles. What I say? Round and round is that catch 22 with their ego, right? And we throw the cards, the Four of Swords. The center card is the Queen of Cups. Yeah, but I love them. Ah, uh, but I'm going to do nothing. And what's red with the Four of Swords? The Nine of Pentacles. Again, wishing they could... Wishing... Th oh, again, it's this wishing energy. It's this wanting to wanting to have the love with you, but also wishing you'd go away. Okay? It, it just goes round and round and round and round and round. And there it is. Again, there's there's that. And then they, they want to be liberated from this. Doing nothing. They, there's, there's liberation in coming towards you and giving you the cup of love. And there's liberation for them round and round in doing nothing net net it's just two of pentacles an infinity symbol of round and round and round so that's what they're thinking and feeling but they all know from the sun in the cancer hotspot book ending the lover's card paired with the devil that they that they have something they want to say they all know what they want to do the knight of uh, swords always knows what he or she wants to do he's got a specific message that's what that means very simple instructions it's not hard if i tell you go over there and grab the blue plate you're not worried on the way, oh my God, this is a complex mission. What am I going to do? No. You, you just, okay, the blue plate, got it. All right? So at the end of the day, they all know what they want to do. There's this dance with their ego, which I believe the new moon kind of cancels out a little bit. And uh, I, I think that's very important. I think a three card I pulled the other day about the dreams that are causing them to put their bullshit down and at least try is coming into play. We'll see what happens in tomorrow's weekly reading. When I ask what actions they're likely to take towards you, pull the same reading and clarify. All right? Let's see where we go. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.